Hello. How's everybody doing? This is just your average schmo back once again. Um, we are on December 3rd, 2022. It is just after noon, 12.09. Um, it's the last video I'm doing this morning. I've done four videos. Well, this makes the fourth video I'm doing this morning. Um, so if you're new, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you know about future videos, but then go back and watch the other videos I did. Um, and you will see uh, where I got this. This beanie that I have no clue uh, of what that says, but you'll be able to see a video of where I got that at. So, hit that subscription button, all notifications on, and join our happy little family here at Just Your Average Schmo. I will be honest with you. Most of my videos run right around the 20 minute mark. And a lot of times that's because I do uh, I do kind of a, a monologue, if you will, an opening. I don't dive right into whatever I'm opening up. I give you a little insight into me and my life and what's going on. Um, just so you can get to know me better. And hopefully that will entice you to, to be happy you subscribed and uh, come back for future videos. But yeah, there's also a possibility once in a while I just go off on a tangent and ramble off about something that uh, just pops into my head. So, occasionally it can end up being pretty entertaining. And I know that because occasionally I'll go back and watch some of my, my videos, um, you know, especially before I put on the title thing and I, I upload them, I, I watch through them because I do so many videos, maybe at one time, that I kind of have to refresh and watch my videos so that I know what to put on the title. And uh, I'm often entertained. Uh, so hopefully you are too. What we're here to do is my other overvalued scratch and ding $50 mystery box from the Nerdy New. This is number 34. If you, if you're a subscriber. You probably saw the other video uh, where I, I was kind of wondering, if you will, because I ordered two of these boxes, but the initial shipping notice I got. You know, I had one. So I actually sent a message to uh, the Nerdy Newt, and Nerdy Newt customer service got back with me yesterday and said that uh, they apologized for the delay. So I'm guessing it was the intent to ship them out separately. But I guess the uh, somebody that was in charge of coordinating shipping of packages and stuff like that was out sick for a few days. So some of their packages got delayed in, in getting shipped out. Completely understandable. They got back with me. All good. You know, that happens. You know, I, unfortunately, we can't have full control over uh, not getting sick, especially these days. Um, we can do everything we can to try to avoid getting sick, but hey, if you're going to get sick, you're going to get sick. All right, and then you just got to deal with it. And hopefully... Uh, I believe they said said what his name was, but I don't, I don't remember. But hopefully he's he's starting to feel much better. Um, but here we go. Again, this is was fifty dollars. It's overvalued. I think the first box. I don't remember. I want to say in the first box I ended up with like a hundred plus um, in value, and the the damage on them was really minimal. Um, obviously you're going to take off a little bit um, in regards to damage even if it's very minor damage you're going to and, but it kind of depends on the pop too I mean if it's a pop that that's kind of got a high value and is one that people are really looking for not a, sometimes you know for a resale value but also just because it's one that's popular and people want it for their own collection a lot of times people bypass a little ding or a little scuff, um, you know, and they still pay about trending value. Uh, all depends on the pop and, and the, the amount of the damage. All right, all right, here we go. I believe, yep, so we got the orange bubble wrap. 
see what we got in here. Okay, we got one there, one there, one there, one there. All right, we got four pops in here. None of them are in protectors, but that doesn't necessarily mean anything. Um, I can't remember whether any of them in the last one were in protectors. Now, I would think if you were getting like a really big hit, it would be in some type of protector, but it's not always the case. Sometimes um, they just ship them, you know, without. So, but it looks like we got three regular, regular pops, and then we got one. Maybe it's a pop ride or I don't know, it's, it's, it's a bigger, it's an oversized pop, but not like 12 inch pop that obviously wouldn't fit in this box. All right, here we go. First one, we've got Tool Shed from South Park. That's a show that I, I have watched. I have seen episodes of it. It's very enjoyable. But it's not one that I collect Funko Pops from. I'm going to pull up the Funko app. And scan these as we go along. Maybe if... Okay, there we go. I had to put one of these screen protectors on my phone because the, the, it was starting to uh, crack. So I figured I'd put one of those screen protectors over it. You know, that, that really thin, like, tempered glass that it might stay together long enough until, you know, here in a couple of years I can upgrade and get the new phone, but it makes it harder to do the actual touchscreen stuff. But yeah, tool sheds coming in at 15 bucks. So, that's not bad. Paid $50 for the box, so there's 15. And let's check out, let's check, check potential damage on here. All right, there's some minor little like minor little like scratch right there not even really noticeable it does have a little bit of a a crease along this side um, that I mean once you put it in a protector that wouldn't really even be noticeable because it's not like a, a hard crease like a hard edge Was a 2018 pop. Yeah, outside of that, and like the, the little, I mean, you can't even see it on camera. Basically, just shelf wear, I think, and then this crease. I would still put it at like 7 out of 10. So, I would imagine I could probably get maybe 10 or 12 bucks out of it. Number two. We have got Tom from Tom and Jerry. Shut condition on this. It's got a small rip here on the top. I don't know whether you can see right there towards that corner. A minor little thing here. Again, looks like just like shelfware, a little pitting. A little bit of crease on the back. I would probably put this like six, maybe seven, but definitely no higher than that. Um, again, in, once in a protector, I mean, obviously I'll disclose that when I go to list this, but it will be put into, whoa, huh, nice catch, right? It will be put into a uh, seven bucks a pop, pop shield protector. Which is my protector of choice. I just bought 200 more of those here recently. So I can basically, all the pops that I have in inventory, ones that are already in protectors from like Insane Toy Shop or Child's Collectibles, whatever, I keep in those protectors. But any that aren't in protectors will be put in uh, pop shield protectors. And the next one we have got, oh, I didn't scan that Tom, did I? Uh, yeah, sorry. Sorry. Getting ahead of myself here. Tom with Cleaver is coming in at $17. I want to say I have. I 
I was thinking I had one of those already. Or I might have I might have a Tom, but maybe I don't have it with a cleaver. Maybe a different one. I don't know. But okay, so seventeen fifteen, so we're at thirty two dollars. So I mean we're doing pretty good. And damage is minuscule, so taking off for damage, say we're at twenty five, so we're we're still halfway over what I paid. All right, next we have Panther Marge from the Simpsons Treehouse of Horror. The front of it does have a little bit of scuff and scratch. Again, not it's not real noticeable. I mean, you can see a little bit there on camera, just some minor scratching on the uh, the clear plastic. Obviously, fingerprints and stuff. And this one's also got a small rip right here at the corner um, a little bit of a scrunchage here on that corner but overall again I would put it at like six or seven dollars a little bit of a crease in the back looks like maybe it got got scrunched it got maybe set the wrong way and something set on top of it or what but that again I mean that out of a protector will obviously be noticeable I mean, if you're looking at the back, obviously, if you're just playing it, you know, like this, you won't see it. But it doesn't take away, it does take away from the value. So, I, I would, again, I'd put this 6, 7 at the most out of 10. I don't collect Simpsons Pops. I do like the Simpsons TV show, but I, I don't collect the Pops. This is coming at 18. So, we were at, what did I say we were at? We were at 32, so 18. So that puts us at the $50 and taking off for for damage. We're more like $40 with one pop to go. And again, this is kind of an oversized pop. So I don't know whether it's a pop rise or what. What it is? It is a Yu-Gi-Oh Target exclusive. Slifer the Sky Dragon. This one's got some weight to it. I'll definitely have to. Well, I think the the FedEx 7.99 rate would cover this, even with uh, shipping, because it covers I think everything up to like four pounds. Uh, it's got a little bit of a little bit of damage there on the bottom, but honestly, just running my finger over it, it kind of. Put it back in place. I mean, it's not ripped or anything. It's just kind of like somebody moved it and it just caught the edge just a little bit. Um, other than that, I don't see any like major dents or pits or rips or anything. I would put this honestly. I would because that was on the bottom. And it's very minuscule. I don't, I don't know whether you can just see it right there. That's one little spot that I'm talking about. And see, like, if I put my finger over it. I would say I don't have a protector um, this size. Right, maybe I'll have to look and see if I can get a protector from 7 bucks a pop to put that in. If I don't, then you know when I sell it, I'll definitely uh, it'll be very well secured when it's shipped. Massive bubble wrap, secure box. Yeah, I never really got into Yu-Gi-Oh, so I won't be keeping this either. So let's scan this one and see what it comes in at. Holy crap! Slifer the Sky Dragon Super. It's this is the right one, right? Yeah. Target exclusive. The Funko app is showing it $105. Let me check the uh, the Hobby DB. I always like to double check something like that. Because I don't want to. I 
I don't want to list it at say like eighty-five, ninety dollars, and then find out that it's actually not going for that much. All right, it looks like that is right. I'm going to bring up that is autographed by Dan Green. That's an estimated value of two hundred thirty dollars. All right, it looks like it has the special edition sticker. It's coming in at a hundred dollars. Yep, Target exclusive sticker is coming in at a hundred and five dollars. So that being the Target exclusive, adds five bucks to the value. Now, like I said, I mean, the, literally the only damage on this is that little spot right there. So this. You know, when I go to list it, again, I'll probably list it at like $85. $85. And, uh, hopefully I can look in. I'll have to look into seeing and getting, maybe get a protector to put it in. Obviously, I don't know whether you can just buy a single protector. Um, they might even make, maybe, might even be a bad, I'm not, not a bad idea to get like a hard a hard protector over a soft protector to put something like this because like I said it does have some weight this probably weighs like a pound and a half might even be close to two pounds by itself um, but yeah so there we got 105 and what I say we had there It was 15, 17, right, 32. So that was 50 bucks, right? 50 bucks, 105. So I basically tripled up in, in general value in taking off for damage. You know, I'm still probably looking at 120 to $130 in value, somewhere in there. I'm happy. I mean, the two reasons why I buy mystery boxes and stuff is one, because I am a collector. You know, my my hope is whenever I buy a mystery box to at least get one thing out of it that I want to keep for my for my own collection. In this case, I didn't. That's fine. Because the other side is because I buy mystery boxes to get inventory uh, for my business. So you find uh, links or. Not necessarily links, but you'll find information down below to my business page on Facebook, my my direct Macari store, uh, Poshmark, and whatnot. Make sure you follow me on all that stuff. If you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up. I'd greatly appreciate it. Doesn't cost you anything. Might help me out. And uh, if you're interested in any of these pops, uh, they'll be up on Macari. Uh, at the very least, here within the next week and a half or so. Um, I've been trying to go through every night and list stuff. So make sure you follow me on Macari so when they do come up there, you'll know about it right away. Uh, well, that's it. That is it for today. Um, make sure you check out the Nerdy Newt. I am very pleased. I've seen Franchise Kicks and uh, a couple other people on YouTube uh, get boxes from Nerdy Newt. I finally was able to get, um, in this case, two. Uh, this is the second one. You saw the other one in a different video. And, uh, you know, I'm happy. You know, I, I definitely got my value back. And that's one thing that I've heard a lot of them say about the Nerdy Newt is you, you most of the time you, you get your value back. You're getting what you paid or you're getting over it. Um, so it's nice. All right, well, do me a big favor also, and hey, look out for yourself and those around you so we all have a much better chance of staying safe and healthy. Until the next time, everybody, uh, take it easy. See you.